Hello friends, welcome to Jumpstart. My name is Miss Peyton, and today we're going to be learning about things that absorb and repel water. This week, we've read a book called Rabbits and Raindrops about baby bunnies who get caught in a rainstorm on their first time out in the meadow. The mama bunny brings them to take shelter under the hedge. The wide leaves of the hedge protect them from the rain that's falling. A rabbit's fur is fluffy and absorbs or soaks up a lot of water. So when a bunny's fur is completely soaked or full of water all the way through, it takes a long time for that water to evaporate or dry up. So if a baby bunny especially is caught in the rain, then it can become wet and stay wet for a long time, which puts it at risk of being really cold and becoming sick because of that. Other animals like the mouse and the butterfly also take shelter under the hedge because like the bunnies, their coverings absorb water and they could be in danger if they get wet. But we see the turtle walking through the rain looking very happy. He's in the wet grass, the raindrops are falling on him, but it doesn't bother him because he has a waterproof shell. So his shell actually repels or drives away the water. So it just runs off the sides and he stays nice and dry and warm in there. As people, we use waterproof things like rain boots, raincoats, and umbrellas to stay dry in the rain or the sleet or the snow. These things are made of either plastic or another kind of waterproof material like a fabric and they help keep us dry because they repel water. Let's go see if we can find some things around the house that absorb and repel water. First up, I put on my green wellies and blue raincoat. Let's put them to the test and see if they keep me dry. Okay, they worked really well. We can see that little beads of water are sitting on the surface of my coat rather than soaking in. And even if I walk through a big old puddle with my boots, my feet stay nice and dry inside. In the house, we find water in the kitchen and the bathroom. Here I have a sponge that I use to wash dishes in the sink. Do you think it will absorb or repel water? Let's see. If I put the dry sponge in a bowl of water, we can see it sucking up the water. So this means the sponge absorbs liquid, which is helpful for cleaning and washing. Towels help us dry off in the bathroom, at the beach, or by the pool by absorbing the water that's left on our skin and hair. When we're done, we can hang it up or lay it out in the sun so the wetness evaporates in the heat and the light so that the towel is nice and dry the next time we want to use it. Thank you for watching, friends! I hope you've learned a little bit more about absorbing and repelling. I'll see you soon!